Hey Deckers, have you just bought a shiny new M2 dock or are using external storage on your Steam Deck and want to be able to mount it so that you can use it either in Steam or in other third party launchers? Well, actually it's incredibly simple and you don't have to do it every single time. All you need to do is switch to desktop mode, go to this GitHub link that I will put in the description below and copy this section via curl one line install you will need a sudo password. To do this, go into your user settings. So go to settings on the Steam Deck and then users, and then set change password on the Steam Deck user. If you have not set one previously, you'll just be able to set this and away you go. If you have set one previously and you've forgotten it, we have a different video on that. Look for the video thumbnail with, oh no, what's my sudo? And you'll be able to go through the recovery process to get that reset. So once you've set your sudo password, open up console, going to the menu system and then console, and then just paste in the git curl, hit enter. It will take a couple of seconds and then you'll get a pop-up. You want to allow this to say that this will install the auto mount service. It will do some work and then ask you for your sudo password. So put in your sudo password, and then once you've entered it correctly, it will finish. Now, once you go into your media, you can see that before I ran the script, it did not see the external M2. But after leaving and going back into that section in the Dolphin browser, you can see I've now got the extra storage here. I've actually got my M2 split into two partitions, one for Windows and one for Steam Deck. So you need to keep the Steam Deck partition in NTFS. Some people have reported issues with the NTFS and making it XT4 but I've not had any issues. If it's formatted as XFAT, which I did originally the S2 M2 drive, you'll see that you will not be able to add a Steam library. And for this to work in Steam and to be recognized in Steam OS, you do need to add the Steam folder. The easiest way that I've been able to do this was to just pick a game to install. And when the location for install comes up, just pick the location in the install directory. And when you hit next, it will create the folder and link up all of the Steam library sections. You don't have to continue and actually install the game as this will complete the setup. Now you'll just be able to use that drive in Steam and in game mode, just as if it was always there. So after reboot, as soon as you go into game mode or back into desktop, all that storage is pre-mounted and it will pick one of the drive letters for you. For me, everything is now under G. The extra bonus to this is not only is it visible in game mode, but you no longer need to add the command line options to third party installers. That's right, all of your storage will automatically be available in the third party launchers, so you can now install to any of those drives without adding the command line arguments manually. So there you go, that's how to auto mount your storage devices in Steam Deck so you don't have to worry about doing it every time. Let us know if this has helped you in the comments below and if there's any other guides that you guys are looking for then let us know. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.